Hey everybody, on this video we're going to do something really, really cool. If you think this is a sweet looking gun, you don't even know the half of it. Let me tell you about it. First off on this video, we're going to take this sweet little package right here and we're going to do a hunt. Okay, so earlier in the day, we wound up sighting this in. Now this is a Sig Sauer 9mm gas pistol. It's called the MPX and it is unbelievable. You know, on YouTube there's lots of videos about these guns, but nobody has gone on a hunt with one. It's like, you know what? We had a suggestion from one of our YouTube viewers said, why don't you use the MPX and go on a hunt? Giddy up, so we're doing it. Okay, well first off, we had to get the thing rigged out. I called up Austin Rohr over in Tyler, Texas at Superior Firearms, and Austin sent me the gun. He, it was a surprise, he just rigged out with Timber Creek on it, which is cool. And then I called up my friends at Sightmark and they sent me a night vision Sightmark scope that records audio and video. And this right here is the cat's meow. It is absolutely awesome. Now you might notice that the scope mount, the cantilever scope mount is mounted on backwards. There's a reason for that. If it was mounted on the other way, the scope would overhang the muzzle and we don't want that. We have it mounted on, it is accurate as it can be and that's all that matters. So what we did, we got it sighted in, and the cool thing about this is we're shooting streak ammo. Streak ammo is a special tracer type ammo. It's non-incendiary, it's safe, it can be used indoors, outdoors, and it is used in low light conditions. Of course, it's dark right now, and we're gonna be hunting in low light conditions. But it is a cool product because you're gonna be able to see where the bullet flies. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this set up. I've got a target already set up down here at 30 yards. We're gonna load up 10 rounds in the magazine, send 10 rounds of streak ammo downrange, and I'm gonna show you what the Sig Sauer MPX 9mm gas pistol will do. All right, so the target is set up at 30 yards. I'm gonna take this little black sticker and put it right here in the center of the target. And we're gonna see if this little special gun will uh, light them up. All right, we've got it loaded up with 10 rounds of streak ammo. We're going to see what happens. You can see that target really nicely, that scope. Look at that. All right, I'm fixing to send it, firing the hole. actually see the bullet hole in the paper with this scope. All right, six hour, nine millimeter MPX gas pistol. Okay, and about 30 yards, take a look at this group. This is a 10 shot group right here. And certainly this is a good kill shot on an animal, but this is exceptional. And so that streak ammo does a heck of a job. And we know with this setup right here, we're very accurate at 30 yards. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take off, we're gonna go on a hunt and see if we can get within 30 yards of what we're after. All right, before we get to the hunt, I wanna cover a few things. First off, this is not a conventional piece of equipment that you would hunt with. I wanna make sure and point that out, uh, several things. First off, make sure if you're gonna do something like this that it's legal, you always wanna check whatever state you live in, whatever province you live in. Of course, in Canada, you'd probably be in prison already if you had something like this but you wanna make sure that it's legal. The next thing is a nine millimeter, which that's what this is, is not really intended to hunt with. Okay, it's used in uh, law enforcement and uh, personal defense, but uh, it certainly is it, it's capable of killing. But it's just like anything else, uh, you've gotta use the right projectile, and then you've gotta have the right shot placement. And so keep those things in mind. And as far as the, uh, the night vision goes, Again, legally, uh, some states allow it, some states don't, so make sure and just check the laws before you ever go out and do anything like this. Now, let's show you the hunt. So this morning, I'm hunting for a doe out here at the Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. Yeah, they're bunched up. I don't want to take that shot. They need to separate. Too bad we're not buck hunting, huh? It's a nice deer. Golly, they're really coming in. Okay, here comes a nice doe. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to take her. I 
can see are perfect with the night vision. All right, here we go. So what do you think of that? That was pretty doggone cool. Got in here really, really super early, and all of a sudden it started getting cold. We were covered up in deer early. The, the problem that we've had this time of year, it's really, really hard to get a doe. They just get hard to come by. There were so many bucks out there, and thank goodness for the night vision, because I was sitting there thinking, boy, I mean, that looks like a big doe. Eh, you can see the nubs on their head. And so anyway, it allows you the opportunity to be able to see in low light conditions. But the cool thing about this is, is it's shooting the streak ammo. It's starting to get light now, but you could still see the streak ammo. I mean, it looks like an orange missile going down to the animal. So anyway, got a nice hit on it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna sit here, wait for the sun to come up, warm things up, and then we're gonna recover. And we'll show you what streak ammunition does to a white-tailed doe. All right, this is what she looks like, guys. Look at here. I mean, a nice late season doe. And this is a first for me. I mean, uh, we started out this video with uh, shooting this little MPX. It's a Sig Sauer MPX 9mm gas pistol. We started the video out uh, shooting it off a bench and showing you at nighttime what the streak ammunition looked like. And of course, the sight mark scope, this is a, a night vision scope, it's got the infrared on it. And I mean, it is absolutely badass. I mean, it, it's it's really, really cool. I can't wait to use this on a hog hunt in total darkness, this scope anyway. But uh, but as far as this whole rig goes, this is kind of unconventional, okay? Uh, Austin Rohr with Superior Farms, he's out of Tyler, Texas. He wound up, uh, he and I went on a hunt recently and, he, and we were talking about this. He said, you think you could do that? You could take a six hour MPX, nine millimeter gas pistol and put a night vision scope on it, kill a deer with it? Yeah, and I think we just did that. So I wanna thank Austin for sending me the gun. She only went about 80 yards. And I mean, playing back the video, you can see that streak ammo coming in. And I mean, it went, it actually, it surprised me because I'm shooting a hollow point. It went all the way through it. You know, most of the time with the streak ammo, people are shooting it at indoor ranges. They're shooting it, uh, uh, you know, in low light conditions. A lot of military and law enforcement people use it, but clearly it's got an application for hunting. But when, it, just like everything else, whether you're shooting a bow or a gun, shot placement is critical and the shot on this thanks to this setup right here was perfect okay we're gonna have links down below in the description to every one of the people that helped make this happen whether it's sight mark or sig sour and austin roar all that so make sure and contact them and uh, if you got any questions or comments about the video go ahead and post them below share it with your friends uh, we got some really cool stuff coming up so make sure and check out the channel on that and uh, for those that want to see what the bullet actually did on the inside of this Stay tuned, we'll show you. All right, so what I've done, uh, I'm gonna peel the skin off of it, but I wound up uh, gutting it. For a lot of people that watch our videos, especially a video like this, they wanna see what damage does the bullet do. I wanna show you the reason why this deer only ran about 80 yards is because of the heart right here. Take a look at it. Look at the hole in that right there. Matter of fact, it went through, penetrated the heart. I stick my finger right through it, see that? And that's the reason why the deer didn't run far. So now a lot of people may wind up thinking, well, a nine millimeter is uh, really not a round that is designed for hunting, and that is true. And like I said earlier in the video, shot placement is critical as a hunter, whether you're shooting a nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, or 30 out six, doesn't matter. Shot placement is critical. In this case, as you can see, shot placement was absolutely perfect. You hit them like that and they sure don't go far. Make sure and hit the like button if you like the video. Got any questions or comments, post them below, share it with a friend, and make sure and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.